<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's the Veiled Catholic, your sister in Christ. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. As you can see, I don't have my veil on. Um, I had previously said in uh, previous video comments that I was no longer going to veil the Muslim way. I feel that I was called to veil more Christian like such as Amish or Mennonite style and dress as well which is um, long sleeve dress with a cape in the front so um, the chest area is covered completely and you know it's not tight at all in the back has cape as well it depends on whatever I want to get but um, I haven't had the chance to get any patterns to make any of the um, veilings or any uh, of the patterns to make the cape dress so I'm in the process of doing that and uh, I thank God that I, my mom she's teaching me now how to do pattern making so she's going to teach me how to design uh, a modest cape dress but anyways um, that's not why I'm making this video this video I'm making it because this is a an extremely important subject that I feel that needs to be addressed talked about or um, you know, I want I want your opinion on what you guys think about whatever I'm going to say. So I've, I've written down whatever I need to say. That way I don't forget anything important that I have to say. Okay, uh, this video is about, it's called Sowing Seeds. S-O-W-I-N-G. S-E-E-D-S. -E -E Sowing Seeds. I'm pretty sure that you have... Um, read some part of the Bible that speaks about sowing seeds and um, today my husband and I were watching a Christian show on ION TV and there there was a pastor named Todd Kuntz C Kuntz I'm sorry Todd Kuntz C O O N T Z and um the website is inspirationcampmeeting.com um, The reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I I don't know if I'm ignorant on this subject or I don't know what it is but I truly find it very hard for me to believe in what he says. Um, he was talking about um, that we as Christian need to plant a thousand dollar seed um, because um, God wants us to do that so we can um, so he can repay us back by giving us more than ten thousand um, dollars he says that he doesn't know why but that God is sending him the number of 1,189. He said, actually he said that, um, he said that God is giving him the number 1,189. He said that he's been praying about it and, um, he says that the reason why God gave him that number is because there's 1,189 chapters in the Bible. So, but when he said 1,189, he was talking about uh, money. He says that God has favored him as well. He says that he, he wants us to make, um, he says that, uh, that he sees a 72 hour miracle from God 
that God has sent him this timing. Meaning, he wants us to uh, send him $1,000 call in and make a $1,000 donation. And that in 72 hours, you're going to get supposedly miracles from God. I find that truly hard to believe. Um, he's basically trying to brainwash people to into uh, making the donation. Even there was people calling saying that they don't have the thousand dollars now, but that they want to um, donate the thousand dollars because he has truly convinced them to. Um, to give that money. Uh, what else? He cl he claims to be a man of God. Um, he said he's he and then after he spoke the sermon, he was saying that he was going to pray and that um, while he was praying, he said you must go to the phone right now and plant your seed. He said, if you plant a thousand dollar seed. God will give you real estate. He says, I don't know why, but that just came to my mind. I think God put it in my mind. Real estate. That God is going to pay you back with the real estate. Um, and he, while he was praying, he thanked God for giving him those words. He said, don't delay. Go to the phone right now and make that $1,000 seed. Plant that $1,000 seed. And then he also spoke about, um, in, uh, the book of Kings. I don't know if it was first Kings or second Kings, but he mentioned in chapter three that is talked about that King Solomon, that he wasn't, um, I think that he wasn't King David, but that, um, that they asked him for, uh, for him to make an, an offering of, a lamb or something like that. I don't remember exactly how how he said it. And I haven't read it yet. But um, he said that um, King Solomon gave 10,000 uh, burned um, favors or something like that. And then um, he was using basically examples from the Bible to, you know, to put into people's mind and to think and actually believe what he was saying. Um, I would like your opinion on what you think about this. I'm gonna, right after this video, I'm gonna add a short clip of what he was saying. That way you can, you know, get an idea of what he's talking about. Uh, he was gonna give an example on, um, on something that happened about a Brazilian, uh, person. But I didn't, I didn't record that. I just recorded the part where he says, well, make that thousand dollar seed, plant that seed. And then he was saying, um, if the lines are busy, um, don't, don't delay, keep calling back, keep calling back. And then, um, another gentleman came back and he was, he, he came on the set and he was saying, oh, somebody called and they made a, they planted a $5,000 seed. Another one planted a $1,000 seed. And he goes, oh, now that you mentioned the $5,000 seed, I wanted to say, if you want to um, make a, in, ex, uh, in, I don't know if it's explosion of a seed, but you'll see it in, in the short clip that I'll put um, after this video. Um if you put that five thousand dollar, oh, um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Just, you know, it's hard for me to believe something like this comes from God, and it's hard for me to believe that a man from God uh, would say such things. God has nothing to do with money. You know, I'm not judging him. I'm no one but a servant of God, and. Um, you know, I just find it hard to believe. I I can't believe somebody like that. Just, uh, I would like for you guys to let me know your opinion. What do you think about this, whatever is going on, whatever I'm saying. And, uh, you know, leave your comment below. Thank you all for watching. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.
15 and in 24 hours in seven days God turned everything completely around I'm talking to somebody right now you're going to go to the phone you may not have the 26,000 or the 30,000 you may not have the money to buy the new car you may not have the money to have a debt free home you may not even have the money to pay down to purchase that but you have the thousands you set it aside but God will say to you if you'll let go of something that you wanted to keep God will let go of something that he wanted to give quickly quickly go to the phone Dial the number that's on the street and say, I am one of the 1,189. God's going to give you a miracle. Favor is going to explode in your life. Quickly go to the phone and dial that number. I'm sitting in Baltimore, Maryland, beside of a pastor and his son from Brazil. The son said, my dad has a testimony, but he can't speak English, so I'm going to interpret. So he began to relay a testimony to me. I'm talking about the anointing. I'm talking about a moment of uncommon faith. I'm talking about an anointing that rests upon my life that I can't explain, but I know those who listen to what God's given me, favor happens. I can't explain it. Tonight, your life is changing. I know it. Tonight, your life is changing. Favor is getting ready to explode. There's a few lines available right now. If you tried to call and you got a busy signal, call back right now. Call back right now. Do not let Satan rob you of this moment. This is the moment you've been believing for. This is the moment you've been asking God for. You've been channel surfing and you've tuned in right now. God has connected me with your life and I'm telling you a miracle of favor is getting ready to happen. There's 24 hour miracles that's going to happen. I'm telling you 24 hours from now your life is going to be changed and turned around. 72 hour miracles I'm seeing even in real estate there's somebody watching you're going to plant this seed on behalf of your real estate and in 72 hours you're going to have a miracle.